Hi, my name is Hashim and today we will be talking about Bernoulli's principle. Our main topics today would be what is Bernoulli's principle and we will discuss some of the real life examples and how it works in our daily lives. So what is Bernoulli's principle? The Bernoulli's principle states that an increase in the speed of a fluid occurs simultaneously with a decrease in pressure or a decrease in fluid's potential energy. What that means is that when you increase the speed of a fluid, the pressure decreases. And when you decrease the speed, the pressure of the fluid increases. So it's an inverse relationship between the speed and the pressure of the fluid from one point to another. And in pipes, usually it occurs with a change in diameter and which causes the speed to increase and the pressure to decrease and this is one of the one of the Bernoulli's equations shown here and Bernoulli himself okay so let's talk about a real life example let's take an airplane wing the way it generates lift is due to the Bernoulli's principle as you can see in the animation here the air falls over the wing and the wing is designed as such when the air flows on top of the wing the speed is higher than it is on the lower side and which creates a pressure difference on top is the lower pressure and on bottom there is higher pressure due to the Bernoulli's principle that if there's higher speed there will be a lower pressure and there's lower speed there will be higher pressure this pressure difference caused by the fluid on at a fluid flowing over the airplane wing causes a lift which enables us to make an airplane fly another example is of a curved ball when the ball is flying through an air and it's rotating in one direction as shown in the picture the air on the lower side has a higher speed which causes a lower pressure and the air flowing over the ball on top has a lower speed generating higher pressure. This pressure difference forces the ball downwards thus the curved ball. Another example where we can see the Bernoulli's principle being applied is a, car, a simple garden hose which I'm pretty sure everyone has witnessed once in their lives. When the garden hose is left free and the water flows freely, the pressure is high but the velocity is low. When you put your thumb over the nozzle, decreasing the surface area through which the water flows, the speed of the water increases but the pressure decreases. This again is due to the Bernoulli's principle. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you understood the Bernoulli's principle and its applications.